This is my old sim setup. It's just a Logitech setup with a handbrake and uh, put together with some very thin boards. And then I would use this chair and it would slide, I'd put it up against the wall and it would shift on me and the arms would get in the way. I got a new chair, so we're going to take this old chair apart, we're going to use some leftover metal, uh, we're going to make a nice little sim rig, because it's a lot of fun to do in the winter and the winter's coming up. It's already here, unfortunately. But we're going to get this chair pulled apart. We're going to try to use the bracket underneath and cut it all up and then we'll just weld a brace to it uh, because I'm pretty sure the bracket's really solid underneath this thing. And then we'll make a small frame for it to sit on. It's going to sit really low to the ground and we'll have a spot where the pedals sit up in the air and the wheel and everything and a little platform on the side. But I'm going to get this taken apart and then we'll cut some metal up and I'll kind of check back in with you when I get a better idea. I do have a little plan drawn up. But, I kind of just like to wing things, as you can probably tell. If not, you'll be able to tell it after this. Little shifter, got a little handbrake, and then I put it on these very thin boards, and I would just clamp the boards to the table. It worked awfully. The, I could feel like every time I shifted, this thing would fly around, but I mean, whatever. It got the job done. Okay, so we have the bottom of the chair torn apart. I'm leaving that spot on because that's where the shifter and e-brake are going to connect to on that side. And then on the front side uh, near the front of the chair is going to be support going down that holds it up because I want that plate to be nice and strong. Um, right here, I took the bottom bracket out and there was like a raised spot there so I just cut it out. Because uh, we're going to put a bar through here. Um, and then there's all the hardware. I pulled this spring out, this other bracket, these two sliders. They're like, uh, they can hold like a little shelf or something and slide. So we'll save those and then we'll save these arms because they're made of metal actually. Uh, they just have a little plastic shell around the outside here. But it's all metal on the inside and then they go up and down. So we could do maybe adjustable table with that or something like that in the future. Um, but yeah, we'll save those pieces. That's all the stuff that's going in the garbage. I'm going to start cutting up metal to uh, the lengths I want and kind of just eyeballing things out. So I'll put you up on the bird's eye view and you can just keep an eye on it and see how it's going. Okay, so the camera died in the cold, but I got everything cut up, got this ready to tack, and then we're just going to start tacking this thing together. Um, I'm going to set the camera back up. It might die pretty quick, but I'm just going to try to tack the bottom section together uh, so I can kind of get it fitted up in the morning and make sure everything's feeling good. And then we can get the bottom plate and then we'll uh, start getting all the stuff actually mounted in the morning. But for now... Enjoy me tacking all this stuff up and a little bit of welding. So, let's do it.
This is a perfect example of why you come up with a plan before you start cutting because I cut this bar up and I didn't need to and I cut all these up and I didn't need to. But they'll find a use eventually. Not too big of a deal. Um, I think it's going to fit in my width that I want it to. It has like a certain... It can only be a certain depth kind of thing. But worst case, I'll let shorten the back uh, little leg a little bit there. Just kind of bring it into there. I'm pretty happy with how it is so far. You saw me kind of set the seat down and check it out. Uh, we're going to put this metal plate on with the pedals like I said. Uh, but we'll do that tomorrow and then we'll build the wheel. We'll build the section for the wheel up. We'll get it all painted and get the whole thing set up. It should be pretty simple once we... Uh, Kind of get the shape we want it. We just had to tack it all up or weld it all together, paint it, and uh, get it ready to go. Okay, so um, I'm not 100% sure how much my I was able to film before my phone died. Uh, that's the problem with the cold. My phone keeps dying really fast, so it's hard to film clips. But I've got the mock-up done, and everything's all tacked together. I'm really happy with how it's feeling. I uh, kept running back and forth to my car uh, to try to like compare and just make it so that the this felt the exact same way my car feels. Pedals are mounted in by bolts. This mounts it on the front, and then it has two bolts in the back there to make it solid. Um, I still need to do a little bit of adjusting to get this on, but that's going to be where the handbrake goes. Shifter down here. We're going to run the cables through there, up the pipe, and down underneath here because it all plugs in underneath the steering wheel. And then the steering wheel just runs straight to the computer with that cord right there. Pretty simple. This is all leftover stuff I had. Um, if you didn't see me pull this out, if the phone died before that, um, I grabbed these shelves from the scrap metal drop-off. I like to just swing by there, and if I see some nice steel, I'll pick it up. And this ended up being perfect for it. I, um, put it on a little bit of a slope here, as you see, so that I could kind of set my phone in here. And then I think that would just be the best way for that. Ah, yeah, so it seems to work good. Everything's mocked up how I like it. I've kind of sat down and uh, felt it out a little bit. I couldn't be happier, honestly. So, I'll show you how it fits kind of thing. Everything's just a little loose right now, but shift her down here in a nice like arm lowered position. E brake straight back to the shoulder cock. Nice out in front. The steering wheel is a little small. I left a little room so that I could expand the steering wheel in the future if I want to get a little bit of a bigger wheel. Because this thing's a little tiny to feel like you're in a little mini go-kart. But we get a little bit bigger wheel. I think it'll just feel a little bit normal. Uh, recently. I spent 20 bucks and I got heavier duty springs for these pedals and they, it makes them feel so much better. They're like, you can actually kind of feel the pressure in them. It's really nice. But yeah, so I'm going to take all this off, finish all these welds, get everything really welded in. 
And then, um, sand it down and we're going to do a paint job in the morning because it's getting pretty late already now. There we go. Everything's all welded up, grinded down. I uh, took a wire brush to all the welds and everything to make sure they were all, all the like, just all brushed off. I'm gonna quickly wipe the thing down with some um, brake clean just to make sure there's no grime on any of the fresh metal. Um, and then we're gonna give it a paint. Uh, we're gonna do the first, I'll flip it over and we'll do the first layer on the bottom side so I can let that dry tonight. And then tomorrow when I come out, I'll flip it over and paint the top side um, I might even carry it inside so that it'll dry faster because I want to have it painted tomorrow and put together in the evening so I can put everything on it and get this video up because unfortunately due to the snow I had to postpone this week's video and do this instead so we're running a little behind schedule but that's alright just get the video up one a week and we'll be good to go but yeah I'm really happy with how it's turned out. My phone's at 1% so this could die any second, but it is solid. Like rock hard. Yeah, not too bad, honestly. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to go inside, get some food and charge my phone, and then I'm going to swing back out here and paint it and uh, set the camera up so you can see that. See you then. Okay, so I just gave this thing a fresh little painting of black, and it's looking good. I um, did the whole bottom side and most of the sides, and I honestly did most of underneath too. Uh, just a little bit underneath so that I could put a nice thick layer on top of it tomorrow, and it'll kind of grab nice and easy. Don't have to worry about uh, another layer after that. That's my goal there. So yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, in the morning, hopefully it'll be dry enough to bring inside by the fireplace, and then we'll paint, we'll flip it upside down and paint the top side. It might not be dry enough, uh, we'll see. Okay, so it fits in perfect and it looks good. I used it last night and honestly, I'm so happy with it. This is night and day, just a completely different experience than what I had before. The heavier springs I was saying in there work great. It feels a lot nicer. The only thing I want to change now is the steering wheel, but we can do that another time. Man, I'm so happy with this. It turned out really well. You can't even really see the frame too much. It's looking good. Now it's time to jump on 2004's hottest game and put my rally skills to the test. Let's see how I do. <laughs> 